So today we will see what is WAMP server and how to install WAMP server on Windows. WAMP server, first of all let us see what is WAMP. For that just uh, see what is WAMP server. And in this you will see that WAMP server is a web development environment for Windows. What is this? It allows you to create web applications. So this is actually for web applications. And for WAM, what, why this name is WAM? Because W is for Windows, A is for Apache, M is for MySQL, and P is for PHP. So you're combining them. And in Wiki, in Wiki, if you find that they call it as a software stack, because actually there are three software which are stacked. One is Apache server, then you have MySQL, then you have PHP. So there are three layers basically. And uh, you know, I need to open this because I'll show you some more thing. You will come across some names like XAMPP, why, why are you not using XAMPP, you, why are you not using LAMP. There are certain reasons because LAMP is specially and specifically for Linux. Okay, AMP you already know, L is for Linux. But you have a very good, um, you know, option with uh, WAMP server which is XAMPP. So you can install XAMPP also. And XAMPP is basically a cross-platform web server. So it is going to work everywhere. But we'll stick with our uh, discussion today with WAMP server. And uh, we will just uh, type download WAMP server. Now when you type this WAMP server on your uh, search bar, you will see that various version will come 32 bit, 64 bit. So you will be confused that which version should I take for that to clear out that confusion. There is a simple option. Go to this PC or my computer, wherever you find, go to the property and see which system you possess. The system is actually 64 bit operating system. And uh, what, and this is Windows 10. What I want to indicate here is, that if you are trying to download 32 bit, 32 bit uh, WAM server, then once you download it and double click on the exe, then you will find there will be an error. And what will be the error? That will be 0 exe 50, means 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 70 error. And this error will, for those people who are actually working with 32 bit and 64 bit, they already know that what this kind of error is. This is actually the error when you want to run 32 bit. Uh, exe or 32 bit application on your on your 64 bit machine that error will come so better better be safe download download wam server 64 bit because what i am doing is 64 bit if your system is 32 bit you will go for 32 bit so this is the first link which is www.wamserver.com and let me click it for you once you are in this is the official wam server website so better you download from here, ultimately it will take you to SourceForge only. You will download from SourceForge only, but the from here, otherwise some, you know, virus worms will not. So proper way is this. In this particular website, right now when I am making this video, there are two versions. WAM server 64 bits with PHP 5.6.15 and PHP 7. While for 32 bits you have 5.6.15. So depending upon your system whether it is 32 bit or 64 bit you can download it mine is 64 bit i am going for this you are yours if your is 32 bit you, you should go for this let me click and once i click it what it does it will it will actually you know give me some message this is the message what is the message message is saying that it is a, it is a gpl license and you will fill up this form like this and download directly all those kind of stuff it will give and the basic thing is once you install there will be some warning there will be some warning and you have to get rid of this these uh, things or you not get rid uh, to be more specific you have to be very sure that your system is up your system it has all those things being already there present means you want your VC11 redistribution function and all this redistribution um, exe already present there. So this is how you have to do all this warning you have to clear out. Okay, this is done. Now you can just go to download, download directly. And now the this will take you to SourceForge uh, link and you're probably 
your uh, AXC will be downloaded. So this is how it is being downloaded. Let us wait and this is how it is downloaded 186 MB. So I am just pausing it or closing it because I have already downloaded it. Now once you have downloaded it, I have already downloaded it. So let me show you this is VAM server 3.04 for 64 bit machine Apache version 2.4.18 MySQL 5.7.11 PHP 5.6.19. Let me just double click it. And this is very intuitive means this is very easy installation is very easy and all those settings previously what happened in English you just uh, check English I accept the agreement next read all this next this will be C colon slash VAM 64 and for 32 bit uh, users this will be only C VAM if they choose 32 bit this will be the name let it be default next install servers and lamb are not there people used to install all these stack layers daily first what they do they install apache web server or any web server then what they do they install mysql then they install php so there are three installations and moreover these three installations require many configurations many configurations some numbers like port numbers all those things here now VAM server and XAMPP and LAMP has solved our uh, pain actually relieved us from all this pain and this is so easy installation I hope that very intuitive okay uh, this will take some time and it will ask at time at this when the program progress bar is here it will ask for something let me prepare ourselves for all these things first of all it will ask us for the browser you want to choose by default it is internet explorer by default uh, if you want to have chrome or firefox i'll show you how to do it you have to just explorer go to c go to your program files and then search for program called google or folder called google and inside this you will find chrome and this is application inside this chrome.exe so you have to go to the exe now this is for chrome only if you are asking for or if you are comfortable with firefox you can go to firefox.exe and likewise for other browsers now we have chosen this but i will this will ask somewhere uh, at the end of the installation and ask for the text editor also for that just go to your drive again this location and search for notepad plus plus if you have already installed it otherwise whichever text editor if you want that is please not suitable to you i will prefer or i prefer notepad plus plus and uh, chrome so i have chosen these two path these two path of exes these two application exes because just now it is going to ask see this it has already asked that i explorer internet explorer will be used as browser by vam server do you want any other yes i want any other so this path we have chosen so i have i just have to copy this link here and it will take me to the destination of chrome.exe and i'll just open then it will ask notepad.exe do you want it to be your default text edit editor or you want somebody something else so what I will do is let me close this chrome.exe but we have chosen or we have gone to that place destination of notepad plus plus. Let me choose it for you and I will say yes. I will paste this location. I will go directly to notepad plus plus exe and okay. Now this is done and it will take just few moments and our installation will be done. Okay. So this uh, icon will be on your desktop because it has not asked whether you want it to be in your start menu or desktop or you know any other place but surely you'll get one icon or shortcut on the desktop just read these all finish it up now your VAM server is installed on your system you are ready to use it just double click it and when I double click it just watch what happens I double click it yes just see this is red now this is red to be green. Humans, you see, into green. When this has gone to green or become green after red. 
once you click just click over it no right click only your left click on your your first finger which is point uh, clicking on that click it will open a menu and these are the services so when we started all services were not running these three services which services you want apache php and mysql and all subordinate which is which the system will take care so this uh, system uh, these three services needs to be started once these services are started your web colored icon will change into green color and now your system is up for your web development and web hosting okay if you want some problem is there you can always restart it these three apache php and mysql i already told you but i have to tell you one more thing apache goes to 80 port or it it works on 80 port php has no port it, this is php.ini this is the configuration configuration file of php.ini and this is mysql it goes or it uses the port 3306 this is common interview question also which port does mysql uses which port does apache uses so hopefully you, you are not in a position to give that answers okay what is this www directory let me just click it it will open a folder this folder www directory will actually contain your website your, your website will be in, uh, in the form of the folder so you have to copy and paste that folder out here understood your website will be in this www directory like those people who are working with xam they will have ht docs as the folder ht docs and your website will be inside that your folder will be inside that hope you got this idea okay let us go to one more thing which is our php my admin and local host local host local host has to run properly if this kind of page you are not able to see then there will be or there is there is some trouble there is problem you have to get rid of that but if this is coming everything is fine all these things you know whichever path i am taking this path or this path this php my admin will take to take you uh, take me to that path and this clicking of this php my admin will also take me to that particular path okay so let us choose this path i will just click it and i'll go to php this is very important why i'm uh, you know emphasizing of php my admin because this is your administrator this is your admin where you are going to actually work this is how you are going to build your your web php is you are like going to write on your notepad but and all php in a package form you are going to place it in ww directory but where you are going to make mysql where you want to integrate php mysql this is the place for you and you, it will ask for username and password now i have not told you neither the vam server has told you what will be the user and password this is very tricky for that we already know that this is root the username is root the password is blank for first go username is root password is blank just press you see this is all administration thing which is available to you these are all databases which are there these are the information you can make database you can you know run sql queries import database export database everything what what you are you know possibly what you can do while uh, developing a web uh, you know website these all things are available to you that is why it is so easy so intuitive and so interactive so helpful so hope you got the idea about uh, how to install vam server what is a vam server and the basic glimpse of vam server applica applications and functionality thank you so much take care